Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Bespoke Post series. And uh, we of course have another box in today and this is a pretty decent sized box. Uh, and this is actually called the Dim Sum Kit. So uh, that may kind of give away what it's about, but uh, let's go ahead and open it up and check out what's inside. All right, everybody, so here we go. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few products here. Of course, we'll start off with the card, and it, of course says Dim Sum on the front, and then of course on the back, it does have some, uh, some basic information as well as their quote, which states, bring some Chinatown flavor into your kitchen. So uh, obviously, this is uh, Asian inspired, and uh, I'm sure most of you have probably already figured that out that this is a, uh, a uh, dumpling kit basically or a dumpling making kit uh, first thing we'll go with we'll just start here and that is this uh, little dumpling press for those of you who uh, you know know what dumplings are or Asian dumplings they're uh, you know just of course the simple uh, pastry kind of flat uh, dough that then has some type of a meat product usually or something like that in it uh, in the center kind of uh, resembles something like that of ravioli uh, but uh, what you do is you would set your uh, your dough your rolled out dough and it would generally be rolled out and uh, cut into circles so that it would fit over top of this you would then press your uh, your filling in the middle there and then you just flip it over and squeeze it tight so then it creates this half moon shape and the nice thing is it automatically puts in the ridges for you uh, which is uh, one of the things that can be kind of time consuming when making something like that because you're sitting there folding it up now of course for those that make it quite often that may be a very simple and quick process uh, of course I have not uh, gotten into this so it would take me a while so having something like this is is uh, definitely beneficial that and uh, it's really easy to make them uniform what they did do too is they did give us a bottle of this soy sauce now this is a pretty decent sized bottle uh, now this is hardwood smoked and this is by bliss and it says bourbon maple barrel aged uh, so you know it should have some uh, pretty nice flavor of course soy is very uh, kind of very salty now of course soy sauce is used in a lot of different Asian dishes uh, most of the time it seems to be used as kind of a a, uh, a dipping sauce sometimes it's used in the actual cooking itself uh, I've seen it used with of course with dumplings you could uh, dip it dip the dumplings in it to uh, give it a little extra flavor as well as I've also seen it very commonly used with uh, with sushi and uh, sashimi and things like that and then the last one is an actual dumpling cooker and uh, basically just three simple parts you've got the lid which does have the three holes in the top you have the base here which actually you fill with water and then you have a bamboo steaming tray, which uh, we've actually gotten something like this before. Uh, this is a much smaller version. Uh, the, one, the ones that we have were the ones that came with a, another product and they were, uh, there was two of them and they were about uh, a 12 inch diameter size. Now the dimension on this is roughly about a seven inch across diameter. So you could fit a handful of dumplings in here, uh, maybe enough for one to two people. Uh, I, obviously you're not going to make like a whole lot of them in a smaller one like this uh, something else to mention this is uh, microwave safe as well as uh, oven and stove top safe now if you're going to put this in the oven uh, they do say that you are not supposed to put it in with the bamboo tray so you can use it basically just almost like a casserole dish really and they do remind us do not uh, heat the lower part up if you're going to do it on the stovetop method or in general uh, without there being something like a water or an oil or something like that in it uh, because again you can uh, damage it cause it to crack hey guys so I went ahead and made um, some uh, some stuff here I did not make the dumplings like I said I haven't gotten the recipe found out for that yet but I did do this where I've got some of this um, this chicken as you can see it's still nice and hot but I got this uh, this is a basil pesto chicken that I wanted to do uh, I put a liner there to help keep the uh, 
bamboo from uh, getting too much of that stuff on it but it still lets the uh, steam of course up through and then be careful here you can see it of course still dripped down some but uh, it's not too bad but that's the water that's left over from steaming it and uh, it works pretty nice um, now these are little roughly um, four ounce pieces of chicken obviously this isn't just for dumplings uh, you can use it for anything that you want to steam uh, vegetables obviously uh, meats of any kind I use chicken this time and uh, you know anything else anyhow if you guys would like to check this out you can go and look at uh, this and the other products from bespoke post down there in the description below will be their link as well as the links to our social media don't forget to check those out and also don't forget to hit that thumbs up button either on your way down or on your way back up as well as if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button either in the corner down below uh, one of those and uh, you know when you do that make sure that you hit that little bell icon when you ring that bell let you get notified when we get new videos here on world of me all right everybody well my name's cougar and this is another episode from our bespoke post series here on world of me i would like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye